Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. I guess we were all wrong and uh, actually didn't take a break for Christmas because episode 69 part 2 just got released out of nowhere when nobody was expecting it. Because it hasn't even been 7 days, this was actually the first time in 2 months or so that we have gotten an episode in less than 7 days, and it was a crazy episode. This truly was the perfect Christmas gift, because as I said in my last video, Santa didn't give me the 15 TV woman body pillows I wanted, and I'm still sad about it. I'll be a good cameraman, and I'm sure that I can get 30 of them next Christmas. This episode actually showed us what's been happening outside the bunker and the build-up to whatever is coming in the next couple... couple episodes is actually crazy, because we saw the Titans getting upgraded slightly and don't even get me started on the normal agents. We'll talk about all of it later in the video. But before we do all that, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. For the sake of New Year's and Christmas, let's try to get to 100,000 likes and 1.4 million subscribers before 2024. Anyways, here we go. Episode 69 Part 2 starts with the ending of Episode 69 Part 1, when they were going through the long hallway and not gonna lie, it looks like they are going to the back rooms with the yellow fog at the end of the hallway. But instead of continuing through Plunger Cameraman's POV, we step out of it and go back to the POV outside the bunker. After we are back to normal, 
We hear the large TV man say something crazy once again. As always, he uses the F word and says, fucking finally. Here you go, listen to it yourself. It looks like large TV man never has no chill because he drops an F-bomb almost every time. But the one thing that's not clear here is why he said finally. There could be two reasons. First one is the reinforcements arriving because they may have been waiting for them for a while now. Think about how long it's been ever since the squad went inside the bunker. Even though it's still nighttime and the sun has yet to come up, we can assume that it's been a couple hours. This theory is also strengthened by the actual description of the video, because Dafuk wrote, reinforcements have arrived under the video. This probably means that everyone has been waiting for the reinforcements for a while. The other option we may have is that they actually have knowledge of where they have to go inside and some sort of a map, because we already know that the lucky cameraman knows where they have to go. And unless it was put in his tablet by the secret agent, the Alliance gave him the knowledge. If this is the case, maybe they were waiting for them to reach that hallway before they enter or help. There is a very likely chance that everyone suddenly teleports inside the bunker, and but we'll talk about this later in the analysis. After this scene, we see the Titan cameraman smashing a buzzsaw toilet to the ground and stepping on his face with no mercy right after, and Blood doesn't look tired at all even after all that fighting. This really shows how durable the Titans are, and honestly speaking, it doesn't look like any of them will die anytime soon unless some crazy overpowered toilet shows up. Right after the injured Titan cameraman kills the buzzsaw toilet, we see speaker helicopters that are carrying blasters coming through out of nowhere, and they place the blasters onto injured Titan speakerman's arms and weld them. It looks like these speaker helicopters were custom made, and we might get to see them again if the Titans get injured again. After Titan Speakerman gets his upgrades, we also see Titan Cameraman's jetpack flying on its own, as if it's a plane before it arrives and actually places itself onto the injured Titan Cameraman's back. This kind of reminded me of Iron Man 3, to be honest. Also, it looks like Titan Cameraman actually has some new guns, but we'll talk about that in a second. After injured Titan Cameraman gets his upgrades, the upgraded Titan TV Man actually tells him to stay still. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. <laughs> After this, he suddenly starts using his beam to transfer energy to the injured Titan cameraman, and with this, his core goes back to its glowy form, and his new jetpack's weapon actually lights up too. It looks like these new guns are laser guns and probably has power almost equal to his core. But his core looks like it's still leaking some energy, and this might actually make him lose some power later on if he doesn't get it fixed. Also, after upgraded Titan TV man charges injured Titan cameraman, he says, let's demolish this place in reverse. Here you go, listen to it yourself. <laughs> Alongside this, injured Titan speaker man also wants some extra energy and points to his core, but both of the other Titans say no with their hands, most likely because it'll hurt him rather than helping him since his core is still fine. Also, while this is going on, we see the hand cannons, and it looks like they also have been upgraded, and I'm assuming that his firepower has most likely at least doubled compared to before, because they weren't that useful against the powerful toilets. After they say no to the injured Titan speaker man, upgraded Titan TV man suddenly teleports before Titan cameraman and Titan speaker man leave with their jetpacks. The real question here is, where did they go? because while everyone else is arriving here, the Titans are leaving. I don't think they are going to get upgrades right now because their upgrades already came to them, so they'll most likely stay injured for a while, but it really is confusing why they left. I'm sure that they have a plan, but we'll see later on. They probably can't do anything about the bunker anyway since they are too big. But the real action and the buildup starts after they leave because the POV cameraman looks down and we actually see the reinforcements arrive. And goddamn, there is a lot to talk about. We see the camera helicopters bringing in the new troops and actually killing some toilets while they are on their way. And we see the upgraded normal agents for the first time. It really does look like they are ready for everything now. We see that all the cameramen have lens protectors now because we know that the toilets have replicated the TV technology and all the agents also have headphones to not be affected by speakers. That's not all because now all the agents have weapons too and there is also a new gun. The cameraman on the right actually has a shotgun instead of the stun rifle. But that's still not all because everyone also has jetpacks now and from the looks of it, also some cameramen have toilet papers too now. 
I wonder what kind of use they'll have. Alongside this, Speakerman's new weapon is bats alongside of knives now. And that's not even the craziest thing, because the new weapon that the large cameramen have is insane, because he arrives with a goddamn enormous laser gun. This weapon actually looks like a mini version of injured cameraman's new laser weapons on his shoulders, and we'll most likely see it in action next couple episodes. And I can also assure you that TV Woman was more impressed by my laser gun. But while we are on the topic of TV Woman, where are the female agents? Everyone that went to the TV man base already came back other than the female trio. I hope we see them once again in episode 70 or episode 69 part 3, because I really missed them. Right after this, we see a cameraman coming our way, and he hands the POV cameraman his new upgrades, and it's the whole pack. He gets a jetpack, a lens protector, headphones, and a shotgun, and the jetpack even has branding on it. That thing better not be $100 extra just because it has the cameraman logo. I'm assuming that these packs were given to all agents, and not just the ones on the bunker missions right now, because it looks like everyone that came as reinforcements might also enter the bunker in the next episode. It's clear that the squad who went inside the bunker needs help, and will probably need a lot more help the further down they go. But we don't know if they'll enter through the main gate or teleport together like how the large TV man teleported many agents at once in episode 66 with a container. We also don't really see any TV man around here and I'm sure that they are also planning something because this is an operation that requires everyone. It really looks like it's about to go down in the next episode. And if the next episode is episode 70 instead of episode 69 part 3, which we will know tomorrow, it might even become the best episode so far because we all know that every 10 episodes it's a huge reveal and a huge episode just like episode 50 and episode 60. After the POV cameraman gets his new equipment and puts it on, we get a closer look at the cameraman in front of us and holy moly, these clothes have new textures. You can literally see the fabric now if you compare it to the old clothes, this is a huge upgrade. I wonder if all the clothes got an upgrade or if it's just the normal cameraman because this is huge. This means that the look of the series will most likely go higher and higher as it goes on. But right behind this cameraman we see a medic cameraman looking very sad at one of the dead cameraman. We understand you brother, don't worry, it's not your fault that he died. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to pay your respects to all the fallen agents. Also, join my Roblox group and Discord to be notified when my Roblox game comes out.